To copy a video clip in DaVinci Resolve, all we need to do is to select the video clip, hit Command C, and now our video clip is ready for pasting. When pasting, one of the first things to consider is the position of the playhead because that is going to be where our pasted clip is going to begin. So in this example, where our playhead is positioned, if we go ahead and hit Command V, you will notice that that is where our selected uh, clip is getting pasted. Another thing to consider when pasting is that if there are clips in its way when we paste, you, know, you will notice that our pasted clip is going to overwrite that clip. So in this example, that part of the video clip is going to get overridden when we hit Command V. And if you don't want this to happen, what you could do is to paste insert instead. And to paste insert, all we need to do is to hit Command Shift V. Notice that what it will do is that it will push that clip out and still allow us to paste the clip that we have selected into that part of the timeline. Other than copying, you can also cut a video clip. To do that, we just need to select the video clip and hit Command X. What that will do is that will cut our video clip and now our selected video clip is ready for you to either paste or paste insert. One thing you will notice right off the bat is that there is a gap right now uh, when we cut the video clip. And if you don't want this gap to happen, what you could do is to perform something called ripple cut instead. And to do that, all we need to do is to select our video clip. And instead of hitting Command X, we're going to hit Command Shift X. And what that will do, you will notice, is that it will not only cut the video clip, but also close the gap at the same time. So now, our ripple cut video clip is ready for you to either paste or paste insert. The next thing I want to talk about is using in and out points to select the range of video clips. To do that, all we need to do is to select the in point first, and then hit the I key, and then select the out point, and then hit the O key, so now we have a range of video clips that are ready for us to copy and we can hit command C and then we need to hit option X to get out of this range. And so now our copied uh, range of video clips is ready for us to paste uh, anywhere uh, in the timeline. Now another thing uh, about using in and out points is that once we have selected our in and out points, instead of copying, if we go ahead and cut it, you will notice that now it will just automatically snap out of that range and we don't have to hit option X like we did when we try to copy this range of video clips. So that's a minor difference there. The reason why in and out points are important is because they literally give you the ability to select any range of video clips for you to copy, cut, uh, and paste, paste, insert anywhere in the timeline. So it can be very, very helpful. One last thing I want to talk about here is pasting onto a different track. Now I talked about this in my previous video, so I'm not going to rehash most of the material. But what I do want to point out uh, here is that in DaVinci Resolve, uh, by default, it looks at the lowest track that has auto select turned on. And that is the track where it's going to paste the video clip. So in this example, the first track is always going to be the track where the pasted clip is going to be. And let's say if we turn off auto select for the second track, it will still always come to the first track uh, and paste the clip there. So if let's say you want to paste your video clip uh, to let's say the third track, uh, so what you have to do then is to make sure that auto select for the first track and the second track are both turned off. This will ensure that the lowest track now that has auto select turned on is the third track. So now if we go ahead and paste it, it will paste directly onto the third track. An alternative is to option click. Option click auto select for a track which you want to paste the clip onto. This will only activate uh, auto select for that track and turn off auto select for all the other tracks. And it will make sure that the paste clip only goes on there. So I hope this helps guys and uh, I will see you next time.